Hi, I'm Brad, and I get to show you this new 2017 Miramar by Thor Motor Coach. It's a 33.5 model, beautiful coach. You can see it's got full paint, big one-piece windshield, uh, windshield wipers come to rest down at the bottom so you don't have anything can obstructing your view. Uh, rear view mirrors to help. Uh, these are adjustable from the driver's seat. You also have the electric defrost in the winter time. I want to point out too, the, the side cameras are mounted right in these Velvac mirrors. Instead of having a separate camera down below mounted someplace in the fender now, they'll put it right here in the mirror. Gives you really better visibility. It's a little higher and it's a little broader. But this is a very, very uh, good piece of equipment and it's all safety related. So keep that in mind too. The coach is built on the heavier GBW chassis. You'll notice it has 22 and a half inch tires and wheels. You'll like the drivability of that. You also have bigger brakes, which makes this whole coach a safer vehicle. Uh, we're gonna go inside and take a look at the inside first and then I'll show you underneath. Only have a couple steps that are needed here. Nice wide stairwell makes for very easy entrance and a nice grab handle. You're going to notice it has the wood floor all the way through, solid floor. Uh, it's easy to clean, it's very durable, lasts a long time. People really like this style of flooring. The cabinetry is just beautiful. A big window by the dinette so you can have plenty uh, of light coming in. Also, you might notice the table's just a little bit wider and that dinette's a little wider. You can actually seat four people comfortably and if and when you make a bed, the bed is a little longer and more people can sleep on that bed comfortably if needed. This also is a pull-out height of bed. And then it has the overhead electric bed. So for your family, uh, this would be a terrific coach to travel in. I just want to show you quickly. This just uh, easy to operate, comes down, comes back up easy. You'll notice there's a place that you can hook up your ladder, the netting around the bed. Don't have to worry about little ones falling or, or getting up in the middle of the night and going the wrong way. And you'll notice too, this bed, this mattress, is probably half again wider than any of the other beds that the other manufacturers are putting in this drop-down location. Uh, Thor is doing a lot of good things with their, both their gasoline models and their diesel models. I won't wait to put that all up. You'll notice the flat screen television is directly across from this comfortable sofa. So you don't have, and no more craning your neck to see the television. It's just a very easy exercise to sit down and rest, or if you're eating, you can see it from the dinette as well. And look at the counter space. This has got, I think, more counters than probably any coach, depending, or regardless of the size. You've got really nice solid surface all the way across. You've got window here uh, that opens up for ventilation. Nice big double sink is available. And they offer a full oven as well as your microwave. A big refrigerator. I think this is a 12 cubic foot refrigerator. Um, bigger than most of the refrigerators and other coaches of this size. Underneath you've got a lot of room for waste baskets. You can even store pots and pans if needed. You've got a lot of drawers here, they're all deep drawers. And also one of the dinette booths has a slider that pulls out so you've got storage under this one. Got it right the first time. This bed lays down very easy too if you need to make a bed. There's just a lock here you pull over. This just simply lays down. It works quickly and easily and then you can lock it back in place so it'll be good. Something that all the chefs need is a good uh, pantry. You've got some pull-out drawers here as well as some fixed drawers. Nice big shower. 
with some overhead skylight to give you some additional space for the tall people in the family. And then the private bathroom, which is so handy to have. You'll notice you've got good space uh, and it's got an electric fan overhead. This compartment is plumbed for a washer dryer. If you'd like to have one, we can sure install one for you. Lots of closets here, adjustable shelves on both of these closets. Windows, I especially, you'll like these windows that they're the top hinge so they, they will move out this way. The whole window does. You have a lot more airflow and ventilation. If it's raining, you can open them up wide and get lots of air. These do have the day and night shades as well. This is an escape window, but also a nice big window letting in a lot of light. And then you've got windows on both sides of this nice big king size bed, as well as deep cabinets overhead. Stereo speakers, reading lights are there underneath, and all accessible to turn on and off right there while you're in bed. And you do have some storage under the bed as well when it lifts up. Of course, you have two air conditioners, ducted air conditioning all the way through the coach. Very nice uh, insulated vinyl ceiling. These are easy to wipe down and clean, which just keeps them looking really nice rather than a, a fabric or a carpet. They seem to uh, take on the, the stains and the smells where this vinyl just doesn't. You can wipe it down. And you also have just a beautiful driving area, cockpit area. These chairs do swivel. You also have a pull-out tray here in front of the passenger seat. Passenger can use that while you're traveling. A little bigger color screen for your uh, rear monitor, which is also including your side cameras. Uh, here you have the uh, leveler controls, your electric mirror controls. Very easy viewing of the speedometer and the tachometer. Uh, all the controls are easily accessible to the driver. There's also a spot for a pedestal table that can be set up here if you do have both chairs swiveled. People hear part of the conversation probably and then you can have a little coffee table. Just a beautiful coach and don't be shy about calling and asking questions. We go through these pretty quickly. And if you've got some specific questions, just call and ask me. I'll be happy to check them out for you and answer you. We're going to take a look underneath now. Again, these grab handles are just terrific. This coach has the uh, outside television that so many now have and are really nice. And this patio awning has the internal frame, so it, does, it comes straight out or not straight, but it doesn't have the arms that come down the side of your coach. So, nice thing, they operate very easily, simply a push button, but you don't have this framework to walk into accidentally that many of us have done and split our forehead. Uh, you don't have to worry about that. There's nothing that gets in the way. Nice big bay doors, side hinge to make them very accessible. This comes with a, a barbecue which can be set up over by your kitchen outdoors, which we're going to show you in a minute. And notice the big storage underneath in this coach. You don't see this open basement storage in the majority of gasoline-powered coaches. They've done a terrific job here. They've also, they use very pliable thick bulb seals around these compartments. So when you close them, they're sealed up tight. If you're traveling in a rainstorm, you don't have to worry about your valuables getting wet. This is just pretty much access to your freshwater tank. Got a drain here. Your duals uh, do have the uh, valve extender here for your inside dual as well as easy access for the outside tire. Too many people just don't check their, their tire pressure. You need to, especially if you're traveling. Check it at least every other day and check it in the morning. It, it makes a lot of difference how your coach will handle, which is a safety factor as well. And then you've got the terrific outdoor kitchen. You've got a refrigerator here, a sink, you've got counter space, overhead light. Got some storage area here with these drawers. 
and then for convenience you've got the uh, propane connection you can plug in your barbecue here so you've got it all here and best of all if it's raining you've got a roof you can be out here cooking they've thought of everything this back bay is access to your propane tank and moving around to the back you got a heavy duty ladder to get up on top of course that's important you should check all your roof seals every year going into the fall and I understand a lot of people don't want to crawl up on their coach I don't like to do it anymore either bring it in let us check it over for you but you need to have the seals checked they dry out over time and if you'll check them recalk them as needed you just won't have water problems this was a terrific idea they put the fuel fill in the back that way you can pull in on either side of the pumps to get uh, fuel one side's full you can just pull in the other it's nice here to have your generator exhausting opposite side of your patio 5500 generator will power both air conditioners. You got your power cord. Coach operates with a 50 amp power cord and, and more storage here and they push this back to where you've got a lot of depth in this storage compartment. And then moving in front of the drive wheel is your water and sewer bay. You can run your sewer, you don't see it here, it's in the back kind of, but you can run your sewer hose right down through this snorkel, your water hose down to here, so you can be hooked up to power and water and close your bay doors and be all secure. You've got hot and cold running water for cleaning up, a filter for the water coming on board, a sewer tank flush so you can flush out that tank, keep it free flowing, things don't get in there and, and plug up. Uh, and also your water pump. It's nice to have a water pump there where it's easy to get to. As if eventually that'll need to be changed. It's a lot easier to get into these bays before you put your slides out. However, at least with the side hidden bay doors, you can get up to them. And again, I just want to point out all this basement storage. You just don't see this in the majority of the gasoline coaches. Here's the... Uh, inverter that's mounted for this coach that inverter gives you a lot more electrical capacity with your batteries capacity is not the right word gives you more electrical capability i think would be a better way to say that this isn't a storage bay you've got your house batteries this is the hydraulics for your uh, levelers and for your slide outs This is the Ford V10 chassis and the six-speed transmission now. Beautiful front end. You do have accessibility in the front to check your uh, oil or your transmission levels. You can get in and fill up your um, windshield wiper fluid and whatnot. But we've gone through this inside and outside pretty quick. Again, if you've got questions, call me and ask me. I'd be happy to check them out and answer any questions you have.